I want to ask you a question today, and that question is, are you in the garden of life? Are you partaking of all the things that are in the garden of life? You know, it says in Genesis chapter 2, the Lord took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and to care for it. And the Lord commanded him to, uh, he was free to eat from any of the trees except the tree of good and evil. And, And the Lord said it is not good for man to be alone, and so he made him a helpmate. Uh, and that's when he put him into a deep sleep and, and he took a rib uh, from Adam and he formed uh, Eve, or the, or the woman. And he says, this is good. Now the Lord formed out of the ground all the beasts of the field and all the birds of the air, and he brought them to man to, to name them, to take care of them. And I'm here in this beautiful garden today, and it just reminds me that we are to stay in the garden where God put us, to care for it and to uh, have life uh, there in the garden. Jesus Christ, you know, the enemy came in in chapter 3 of Genesis and deceived man and, and Adam and Eve, and they fell from, from that grace that was upon them, that favor, that glory that was upon them. They were clothed in God's glory. And when they they uh, disobeyed, uh, then they were placed outside the garden. But praise the name of Jesus, because of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, He went to the cross, He died on the cross, He shed His blood for us, and He put us back into the garden. Where there is life. And it says that we will hear God's voice in the garden. He will walk with us. He will talk with us. And and because it says that they heard the sound of God walking in the garden. His presence, his visitation is is, is in the garden of life. And so I just want to encourage you today to stay in the garden. To partake of the fruit uh, of the garden that will, will make you whole, that will make you uh, sound, uh, that will make you fit uh, for kingdom use. Hallelujah. I love gardens. I love to be in the garden. And in the, in the presence of Almighty God, there is fullness of joy, and there's pleasures forevermore. And we know that when we're in the garden, there is peace there. There's rest there. And so you know whether you're in the garden or you're out of the garden, if your life is a turmoil, if your life is a mess right now, then you need to go back into the presence of God. You need to get back into the garden where Jesus put you. Uh, Repentance will put you there. Prayer will put you there. Praise and worship will put you back in the garden of life where you can draw uh, from Him, where you can hear His voice walking with you, talking with you, uh, in the garden, uh, there is there is life forevermore. Jesus said, the enemy will come, the devil will come to steal, kill, and destroy. And some of you that are listening to me today, you have let the devil come in and steal, kill, and destroy in your, in your physical life, your social life, your, your marriage, your your emotions, your feelings, your finances, your children. But I'm telling you today that you can get back into the garden of life. You can get back into that garden where Jesus put us and we can live and you can live that abundant life. That is, he says, above all, I want you to prosper. In 3 John verse 2, it says, Beloved, I wish that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. Well, in the garden of life, your soul is going to prosper. It's going to, you're going to think on good thoughts. You're going to, to receive all of the promises that God has for you in the garden, in his presence. There is life forevermore. I want to thank you for viewing this video today. You're a blessing to us here at Fountain of Life Ministries International. And I just thank you for your support, your prayers. And right now, I just speak healing to your bodies. I speak healing 
uh, to those that are having digestive problems, uh, those that are having throat issues uh, with your tonsils, and uh, I speak healing to your to your minds. I speak healing to your um, marriages and healing to your relationships, especially uh, in your marriage and in your work situation. Uh, I just see uh, peace coming, peace coming over your marriage, peace coming over your your work environment uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I see legs being healed right now. I see feet and toes um, that the tingling and the burning and the and the aching at night where you can't even sleep uh, because of your your the the discomfort in your feet. I see God healing those feet uh, in Jesus name. You see in the garden of life there is healing. In the garden of life there is provision. All provision uh, is made for you. In the garden of life there is joy unspeakable and full of glory. So stay in the garden of life today. We love you. God bless you. Uh, Be blessed today.